Johnny Depp, I think I sort of started off saying this is kind of my top four pre-Captain Jack Sparrow performances. So that would be this this Sleepy Hollow, Edward Scissorhands. No, I wouldn't include... I wouldn't include Edward Scissorhands. In oh, that list. interesting. Okay. I'd include Sleepy Hollow, Ed Wood. Right, Ed Wood. And then a movie that I don't find all that. It is good. It's okay to good, but his performance in it is amazing. Uh, his performance in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is is something to behold. Fair I point. Think. <laughs> it's really amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Um, I'm weird with Johnny Depp. Hmm. I have liked him plenty. Okay. The Ed Woods, the Edward Scissorhands, the most, you know, at least the first, the stuff of Jack Sparrow before it becomes fourth and fifth washed out. Like he's as good as the second and third movies are good. You know what I mean? Like, so I can enjoy him in those. Um, love him in sleepy hollow. That's like maybe one of my favorite performances from him, but then he oddly became this guy who for about a decade was maybe my least favorite fucking actor to look at. I just could not stand him in anything he did. And I kept like waiting for a chance for him to like give a good performance. And he kept just, uh, I just, I, I, I could not lock into him for so long. And he just became, he just became this actor that I was like, I, I didn't want it to be that just cause he was in it. I didn't want to see the thing, but it kind of got there for a little bit. Yeah. I I see for me, I always enjoyed watching him on screen. Like I always enjoyed going and even even in a movie like The Tourist, which is a terrible movie, I liked seeing him. Like whenever I want to see Johnny Depp, I want to enjoy Johnny Depp. I I'm always there, I think for him. Um ever since probably Probably around like 1999 when I saw Sleepy Hollow is probably when I really became a fan of his. And I, for me, after Pirates of the Caribbean or really after Finding Neverland, because I still think that's a pretty interesting performance. I just uh, I don't think his snooze. I don't think his choices. I don't think his choices are anywhere near as fascinating as his earlier career. Like. It's just they're way kookier and less interesting. Yeah, I don't even qualify them as kooky because they're they're so they're almost like dressed up to be kooky sometimes. But like yeah. he is almost not doing like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like he's kind of he's not doing much. He's just doing this thing with his voice where he's making it kind of a higher pitch. But he, that's all he's really doing, and he's sort of just walking with a kind of like stiffer pace. But it's not. Yeah. There aren't that many choices being made, and I guess... That's a really uninteresting performance. Yeah, and I'm trying to like think of anything that... But unfortunately, yeah, he kind of... Yeah, I don't know what it is. I guess it's it really is just kind of... And for years, he was kind of the guy who was like, I'm never going to do the big paycheck thing. <laughs> and then ironically enough, as soon as he did, he immediately kind of stopped making as interesting of choices as he did in his earlier career because really it was he was a fascinating actor throughout the 90s and the 80s like truly yeah. like it's and it's interesting i imagine he still has i don't know if he has an interesting performance left in him i i think it's this weird kind of sad thing where it also became clear that Johnny Depp has struggled with alcoholism. He's kind of become a bit of a um, really kind of like a reclusive bit of a super rich wino who kind of just like apparently like bought a small town somewhere in like fucking France or somewhere and only talks to his lawyers and the people who work for him and can be like abusive and oppressive towards people. And that all sounds like fucking awful 
and yeah. is is a shame. And then there's also this weird thing that like all of that was like happening and people were like, yeah, I feel like Johnny Depp's like really gone off the deep end and is maybe kind of like become a bit of a piece of shit with, with stuff. And then all of a sudden fucking Amber Heard comes forward and is like, he beat the shit out of me and like assaulted me and all this stuff. And everyone was like, we fucking knew it. Fuck Johnny Depp. That guy sucks. We all knew it. And then, and then he like gets fired from the fantastic beasts movies, which like he like, what the fuck was he doing in those? Anyway, they had Colin Farrell to start with. And, and then they kind of find out there's like these recordings that come out of Amber Heard being like, I'm going to tell people you beat the shit out of me. And you're like, Oh, and then everyone's like, well, I guess we were wrong about that one thing, but this dude still kind of sucks. And like, it's, and then it's like, you know, Warner brothers is like, Oh, so we fired Johnny Depp and we kept JK rolling around. And they're like, so fuck, like, what are we doing here? That's a really interesting like way of describing the. I'm glad you went through that timeline. Like that. it's fucking insane. Because, no, it's like, kind, kind of insane. Of, if that's the man Johnny Depp has grown into, then like fuck that guy. I got nothing to like defend that guy for. Him. But then it's also like, oh, everyone like jumped a little too hard in this one direction, and then. But it, I don't know. It's so weird, man. Like it's court so of public weird. opinion. It's so weird. Like the public opinion of him. It's like I'm kind of. I mean, on some level, I have to admit, I am. I was almost. I think I was always a person that wanted to believe him more in that whole situation. Like I was always just there going like, God, I hope, I hope this isn't, I hope he's not actually a person who just is a woman abuser. And like, and I mean, yeah, you're like, I can accept sad wino. I can totally accept sad wino. I'm just like, please, please don't. So I have to like, as bad as that is probably to have been that way. I definitely was kind of not like relieved, but I was like, okay, well that's, I don't know. I kind of, I was quick to go on the, okay, well, fuck Amber Heard, man. Yeah, what? well, no, but, and, like, negotiating, <laughs> nego- well, and also, also, like, fuck, you know, Amber Heard, if she's, like, making shit up about him, because that is the type of stuff that, like, that, you know, all the times that, that people, often men, are like, well, you know, girls make things up, like, when they say shit like that, it's like, well, you know, once in a fucking goddamn million, but. Yeah. And it's so, so yeah, it's like, but it is strange kind of like negotiating with yourself as you learn more and more about your heroes. It's a really yes. upsetting experience. It can be, it can be, but yeah, Johnny Depp as a performer, and- he kind of the last really great performance is also kind of his reigning greatest performance of all time i mean captain jack sparrow in the curse of the black pearl was one of the most unique performances i had ever seen in any movie period like it was it was just something it was just something to behold it it was it was culture cultural culturally defining it was a supporting role that was nominated for lead actor at the Oscars. Yeah. But which I mean, people he's top fucking build, forget. Right. He is a supporting role. <laughs> oh, he's the third lead of the movie at best. That's true. But he's top build. But you're right. He is true. The third but lead, I mean, or, in yes, terms of yes. who is the lead of the movie, it's Elizabeth, then Will, then him. Yes, and you're absolutely right. And that's like fine. And I don't know. That's the thing. You know, people talk about, I mean, maybe I'm going down like a rabbit hole here, but like people talk about like, uh, 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 what do they call it? Category fraud in, in the Oscars where it's like somebody wins best supporting actress. And they were like, they were a lead of that movie. Yeah. Yeah. And when that shit happens, I kind of think that's unfair because it's like, if you get as much screen time and really are a proper lead and have a story arc as a lead, and then are held up against people who actually are supporters in supporting roles, you're probably going to look better and look like a meteor better role. Like when Viola Davis wins for best supporting actress for Fences. It's like, yeah, that's a lead role. And if if every supporting role has to go against Viola Davis in all offenses, of course, she's going to win best supporting actress. Um, 
So that's a bummer. But the thing I kind of love is when a supporting role gets nominated or even wins as a lead. And it's like, hey, man, you leads, you had a whole movie worth. And Johnny, you know, and I guess Johnny Depp is in most of that movie. But it's like Johnny Depp wasn't even carrying the emotional weight of this film. And he got nominated for lead actor. Yeah. (laughs) Like, no, he's like Olivia. uh, Olivia Coleman. Sorry, Olivia Coleman was totally a supporting role in The Favorite. I love The Favorite. That movie is incredible, but Emma Stone is the lead of that movie and and that's fine. It's an incredible movie. So like if you're if you're so good that you fucking beat everybody who actually did have a lead role and you were just supporting, like that's fucking dope. <laughs> it is true. And Olivia Coleman did win for The Favorite, she right? She won. Yeah. Right. And Johnny Depp unfortunately did not win for for Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm just yeah, curious. I think he lost to probably 2000... Sean Penn. Sean Penn? No. In Is Mystic that River. really who it was? I need to look that up if that's actually. I think I mean, that's 03, isn't it? No, 2004. That was probably fucking. God damn it. It was. No, but it was the films of 03. It was Mystic River. You're right. That's unfortunate. Is it Mystic River? <laughs> yeah, Mystic River. Yeah. It's a fine movie. Um, that's a pretty. That's, that's a pretty good movie. It's a good movie. No, 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 no. Yeah. I nothing on Mystic River. It's just that performance. Is it? Is it Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean? But yeah, I was. Well, just it's a totally say, different thing. Yeah, it's sort of like it's also kind of like Anthony Hopkins, I guess, in The Silence of the Lambs, because that dude's in like tw- like thirty minutes of that movie. Yeah, yeah, he's like 25, 30 minutes of that movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. best actor. Yep, Anthony Hopkins. And True. yeah, no, yeah. I, I definitely think that you're right. Like he's not the heart of the movie. He's the comedic relief almost of the movie, but he becomes <laughs> somehow he becomes the main character to me. Like, I just remember even as a kid, I just watched that movie and I was like, I don't give a shit about anyone. Well, and he's the guide, you know, he's the mechanism. It's like, he is. The, you know, the girl is on the black pearl. I have to get to the girl. So you get me to the black pearl. You know, he, just he is just boat. the. Yeah, right. He just wants his boat back. What a good movie that is. Such a good movie. And thankfully, the- I've never seen Chocola, so maybe I have one <laughs> last great performance by Johnny Depp that I still have not Just seen. Just my, seen. I mean, have you seen um, Fantastic Beasts and The Crimes of the Grindelwald? You know, that's the that's only the second one. Yes, I haven't seen the the third one hasn't come out yet. Yes, I've seen The Crimes of Grindelwald. It's the only one that he's like really in. He's like has like a, a cameo in the first one, but the second one's the only one he is in. As I think we've talked about this before, but just when I'm thinking of Johnny Depp recently, that movie is one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life, especially relative to the budget put into it. It is fucking insane. I don't know if it's one of the worst, but I definitely it's, dude is I. I dislike. I dare you Fantastic to sit through that movie again. No, I'm not going to. Like the only one God that I right. can, the only one that I can stand is the first one, and that one's only okay. But yeah, no, barely. No. Yeah.